to my kitchen. Now for this week's video tutorial I thought I would do another cupcake piping techniques video for you and I'm going to be comparing two different piping tips. Now if you're new to cake decorating the most common piping tips that people tend to use are the 1M and the 2D but it can sometimes be hard to know which one to use to create which effect on the top of your cupcake. So I'm going to be piping four different cupcake effects using both of these piping tips so that you can compare and choose which one you prefer. Okay, let's get started. So before we get piping, first of all, I've got my vanilla cupcakes. Now I will put a link in the description below to all the recipes that I've used throughout today's video if you wanna check those out. I've then got my vanilla buttercream. I've also got my two piping tips, so the 2D and the 1M, and just my piping bags. So before I fill my piping bags with buttercream, here's a closer look at the two piping tips that we're gonna be using. We've got the 1M, which is an open star tip, and the 2D, which is a closed star tip. Now, both of them have the same amount of points on your star. So you have these triangles cut out and you've got six points. The 1M is an open end. So as you can see, there's just under a centimeter opening at the end. Now, if we look at the 2D, the points on the top all come round so that they curve over and meet in the middle. Now, when using the 2D, you might find when you're piping your cupcakes that part of your swirl is not connected to the rest. So you get this gap within your buttercream. And the reason for that could be that either you've got a piece of sugar from your icing sugar stuck in the gap, or sometimes the tips of these can push over and join in the center. So you just want to make sure that you do have a slight gap around each point and those points are not touching. So now I'm going to fill my piping bags with the two different colors of buttercream. Snipping the end off of my piping bags, popping my piping tip in and just pulling it until it's secure. I'm going to use my light pink buttercream with my 2D piping tip and the slightly darker one with the 1M. Now if you're new to piping cupcakes and you haven't seen any of my other cupcake piping videos, just slightly squeeze on the end until you see the buttercream appearing at the end. You can then twist the opening of the bag just to secure that in place between my thumb and my first finger. When I'm piping the cupcake, I can apply a small amount of pressure to the end of the bag to push the buttercream out. So I'm starting with the most classic of our buttercream swirls, and this one resembles kind of an ice cream swirl. So I'm holding my piping bag and starting on my outer edge. I'm gonna do one full rotation, bring the piping tip in slightly, and continue working my way around the cupcake, just bringing that piping tip in towards the center. And when I'm happy with my swirl, I'm just gonna stop applying pressure and lift up. So there we have a classic swirl, and this one is using the 1M piping tip. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same swirl, but using the 2D so that you can see the difference. So there we have exactly the same swirl, but using the 2D. If we bring these in to compare them, you can see that the 2D gives a slightly more ruffled effect. So you can choose which one you prefer. Now, one thing that I love about these piping tips is that you can create the same swirl, but by slowing down the speed that you pipe the cupcake, it can really change the way the cupcake looks. So I'm gonna take my 1M and I'm gonna pipe exactly the same swirl, just letting that buttercream fully come out before I start to move the piping bag. And there we have this pretty ruffle effect. So if we bring in the first one, this is exactly the same swirl, but just by slowing down how fast you pipe the cupcake, you get these nice pretty ruffles. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing again with the 2D. So just really waiting until a ruffle has been created before you move the piping bag around. Here we have this really pretty ruffle effect. 
bringing in the first one, you're just creating a lot more ruffles. Now, if we compare this to the 1M, they're quite similar, but the 1M is slightly more open. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna compare the two. I'm gonna start with the 2D. Now, the 2D is probably most commonly used to create a rosette on the top of cupcakes. For this cupcake, instead of starting on the edge, I'm gonna start in the center. I'm then gonna wind the piping bag around until I get to the edge, stop applying pressure, and then just pull away at a slight angle just so that buttercream tucks into the edge of my cupcake. There we have our rosette using the 2D piping tip, and I'm gonna compare this to the 1M. There we have the 1M. Now, if I bring the two in, they're very similar, but in my opinion, the 2D gives a slightly better rose effect because the sides of the swirl are just slightly bending over each other and it gives the appearance of rose petals. For my final effect, you could use this on the top of cupcakes, but you could also use this on the edge of a buttercream cake. So starting with the 1M, I'm gonna hold my piping bag directly above my cupcake at a 90 degree angle. Apply pressure until that buttercream has spread out. I'm then gonna move the piping bag up and down as I bring it up, creating this dome on the top. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same with the 2D. Now, if I bring both in, you can see that there's not actually very much difference between the two. Now, if I am being picky, the only difference that I can see is on the top of the cupcake. So with the 1M, as you pull the piping bag away, it's a lot easier to get a point on the top of your dome. And with the 2D, it's actually slightly indented. So here we have all eight cupcakes that we've piped. We've got the four that we've piped with the 2D piping tip, and the four that we've piped with the 1M. M. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and will find it useful the next time you come to pipe some cupcakes. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to head over to the video section of the Cakes Manners YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the channel while you're there and hit the notification bell so that you're alerted every time I upload a new video. So until next time, bye.